Hello guys, it's Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. So, as for today we have the new Ancient Gameplays t-shirt that you can buy with the link in the description as always. Okay, so, um, today's video is about one little problem that you've been having. If you're watching this video, you most certainly been having. And that little problem is the VRAM also being at max frequency. So, for example, you go here to the AMD Radeon software, you go here and you have the VRAM at 2100, in my case the max one. So, I'm having now the, the, um, the VRAM at 2100 because I am recording, but I actually fixed this and I will show you in the end of the video by recording with my smartphone that the, the VRAM clock speed is actually fixed, okay? And how did I do it? Well, let's find out right after the sponsor of today's video. For today's sponsor we have GVG Mall where you can acquire your Windows 10 Home serial key for only $16 and using my SKEG discount code will get you 20% off, making it only $11. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and after getting it, you simply need to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. So guys, how did I do it? So the first thing was a comment that brought me some awareness and was from Johan Peterson or Johan Peterson. Thank you, use CRU and edit your resolutions to get the card down clock VRAM to almost zero when idle. When increasing refresh, refresh rate on your screen, the vertical blanking becomes too short and the VRAM won't down clock, going at full speed all the time. Edit the resolution, set it to CVT RB2, okay? or manually increase the vertical blanking. This will increase clock speed on your screen though. He didn't know if it had any problem or not, so I actually spent some time searching on the internet and I went finding this on the AMD community, okay? So th this was several, several hours of searching and I found this. So which monitor timing parameter allows the GPU VRAM frequency to down clock and run idle? And then it's solved. So, this is, I don't really know how this works because I'm, not, I'm no expert in monitors, but this uh, actually explains it, I think at least. Because now monitor is at 75Hz and VRAM is at 1750MHz, uh, when I set monitor to 60Hz, the VRAM idles to 200 monitor is blah blah blah, if that's needed. Will there be any fix in drivers ever so monitors can run idle clocks with monitors running non-standard timings? And so on, so on, so on. And then here, the part that really matters. What really happens is that the monitors is using non-standard timings and the graphics card and its drivers defaults to the maximum clock to play it safely. And this goes with what AMD says because AMD said that this was happening and it started happening last year, in the beginning of last year, 2020. Uh, AMD said this was happening due... Um, uh, not due, but to ensure the maximum stability possible. So this goes in line with a with what AMD said. Okay. So first, you have to go to to your Google, for example, and search for a, a software called CRU. Okay. Oh my God, I don't even know how to write Google. Okay. I am with a cheap keyboard because mine is actually uh, coming only Monday due to to being in warranty, okay? So, we're in Google, trying to find Google, whatever. So, CRU, which is Custom Resolution Utility, okay? Custom Resolution Utility, here. Monitors test, go here and download the application, okay? Choose, for example, here the CRU zip, okay? And then extract it and you have a folder more, you'll have a folder more or less like this, okay? CRU and you have this inside, okay? So, after having this, this folder, being it on your desktop or not, doesn't matter. Open the CRU, okay? And then you have your resolutions, okay? Pick the resolution that you, that your monitor has native. In my case, it's 3440 per 1440, so 1440p ultra wide. And go here to edit, okay? Then you have here the blanking and you have the lines. So, I have the lines at 41, as you can see. 41 and 41 leads me to 111 um, k hertz. Okay. Once I go to 50, 
five, I think I had 55, I go to 112. And this, this alone fixed my problem. So go here, go to the blanking and increase the blanking. Because if you go here and you put, for example, I'll see, um, oh my God. So if you go here and put like LCD standard, as you can see, it raises the lines to 52. So it seems that 52 is quite normal to my monitor, but I actually needed 55 to make the horizontal go to 112 instead of 111.9, okay? 0.9, I mean. So as you can see, as for the blanking, 54 solves the issue and my VRAM goes to the minimum. After this, so imagine that you had like 41 and then you go here and put like 54, okay? Then 54, you just go, or 55 in this case, whatever, 54. You just go here and go OK, then OK once again, and go here to the restart 64 or reboot your computer. I don't, I can't do this because this will restart the drivers and will stop my, my recording, OK? Uh, but that's basically it. Just go here and go restart 64 and the drivers will restart, OK? Simple as it can be. Uh, so basically, if you increase the lines and they just don't go to the to the point that you want them to go, so if your VRAM clock does not um, go down, if it stays at max, increase the lines a bit, or just choose the uh, the LCD standard, and it will most likely fix it. Okay, that's simple. That's simple as it can be. Sorry for the long video for this simple thing, but uh, I actually wanted to explain things. Okay. So guys, as you can see here now, uh, I will show you in the monitor that the VRAM clock is actually uh, fixed. So, okay, let me just change the, cam the camera, yes, okay. AMD, sorry about this. And then you can see here the performance and so on. And you can see here in the bottom, so the max frequency, 2112, which is 2100. And the clocks are now going down. And as you can see, I'm still at 75 Hz. So if I go here, yep, still 75 Hz as it should be, 10 bit, and my VRAM clock is finally down. Great. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share this video if this video helped you somehow. And share this video so that people uh, with um, this problem per se can actually get it fixed. So this helps in several things. For example, the power consumption, which dropped from 30 watts all the time to let's say 7, 15 watts at max when going to the desktop uh, and the temperatures also went down because I I tend to, I actually had temperatures in between like 40 and 50 degrees while, ha while using the desktop and now I only have like 30 to 40 so it's a 10 degrees difference for the less of course so less uh, 10 degrees, 10 degrees less, <laughs> I'm so slow today, 10 degrees less, uh, and we have lower power consumption also, so that's a plus plus and a win-win situation. Thanks a lot one more time and see you in the next video.